Enciso, located to the south of La Rioja, emerges as a small treasure in the valley of the Sadakos River. Framed by lush nature and a captivating landscape, this village holds within itself a rich historical and artistic legacy that invites one to delve into its charms. Since time immemorial, Enciso has witnessed the imprint of the passage of time. Nestled in the high Middle Ages, its origins date back to the times of Count Fernand Gonzalez, being an integral part of the feudal vow alongside Camaros and Ortigosa. A narrative intertwined with the ruins of the ancient medieval castle, a silent witness to past eras, and a church dating back to the 15th century, imposing in its stone architecture that evokes legendary settings like those of Game of Thrones. Throughout the centuries, Enciso has been shaped by various hands and cultures, from the Order of Calatrava in the 13th century to the Dukes of Midnassili in later periods. Its history intertwines with illustrious figures such as Juan de Turiaga, Friar Pedro Marin, and Nicito Alonso Perugio, whose contributions have left an indelible mark on the identity of the village. But beyond its historical legacy, Enciso has also been the cradle of the textile industry in La Rioja. Since the 16th century, loans began to weave stories of prosperity, taking advantage of the wealth of wool that abounded in the region. The municipal ordinances of 1530 for the Guild of Clothiers mark the beginning of a tradition that persists to this day. In the 18th century, the census of the Marquis of La Ensenada revealed the magnitude of this industry, with hundreds of weavers, carters, dyers, and cloth manufacturers giving life to a flourishing textile sector. Among them stood out the Marimlacoste factory, founded by the Marine family itself in the early 1950s and which has evolved into a benchmark of modernization and production today. However, what makes this town stand out the most is not any of the aforementioned, but rather the 3,000 dinosaur footprints that can be seen walking through the municipality, which compared to its 200 inhabitants, makes it the place in the world with more dinosaur footprints than residents. In fact, Enciso is the starting point for the route of the seven sites that unfold up to Naval says. The highlights include the sites of Virgin del Campo, Sonoba, and Valdecillo. Although these creatures inhabited our planet millions of years ago, the remains they left in the terrain can still be uniquely contemplated in this small village of just over 70 square kilometers. But what is the origin of this paleontological heritage? During the Lower Cretaceous, Enciso was part of a marshy plain that regularly dried up. With the loss of moisture, areas of mud were exposed where dinosaurs left their footprints as they passed. Then, these would dry up and be covered with layers of other sediments until they solidified into rocks. These formations have undergone erosion over time, which has helped reveal the lower layers where the footprints are found. Dinosaurs inhabited La Rioja, or the territory now called that, about 130 million years ago, during what is known as the Mesozoic or Secondary Era, in the Lower Cretaceous Period. Now, we have up to 110 sites spread across 20 municipalities and distributed into three major routes, Sadakos, Alhamalinares, and Lazajubari, a global reference in the field of paleontology. How did those footprints endure for so long? Due to the type of terrain, in the large marshes that existed at that time, a dinosaur could step into the mud, which quickly hardened as it dried. This is how the fossilized footprints were formed, which appeared when the sediments were removed. Most of them were discovered in the 1970s, and since then, various excavations and studies have been conducted in the region. All these investigations have provided archaeologists and scientists with vital information about these creatures of the past, such as whether they were herbivores or carnivores, if they walked on two or four legs, their size, the speed at which they moved, and even some aspects of their behavior. And not only that, alongside the dinosaur footprints, a large number of fossils of fish, turtles, crocodiles, and even the trunk of a tree have been found. In Enciso alone, there are about 1,400 cataloged fossilized footprints. But in the entire region, there are 10,000 traces, footprints, between the Upper Jurassic, 150 million years ago, and the Lower Cretaceous, 100 million years ago, from gigantic dinosaurs, such as the fearsome Baryonyx. The Virgin del Campo site, just 400 meters from the village, contains 506 footprints, including several from a carnivorous dinosaur and another herbivore just before they engaged in a fight. It's also possible to see skin marks, scratches, and signs of tail dragging. The Sonoba site is another of the first ones studied in the region and contains 130 footprints, among which 10 theropod tracks and 2 ornithopods stand out, while the Valdecillo site, 2 kilometers from the bridge over the Sadakos River, has 4 theropod footprints, very visible and well-preserved, belonging to carnivorous dinosaurs measuring between 7 and 10 meters long. 
It also contains footprints of a family of iguanodonts, consisting of two adults and a juvenile, and, at the top of the trail, the 49 left by a sauropod dinosaur walking on all fours. In addition to these three, four other sites complete the entire route, the Ignitas site, the El Villapoyal site, the Navalsaz site, and the Cuesta de Andorra site. If you walk through them, you will spot from 21 theropod footprints, three of which correspond to large carnivorous dinosaurs, to 20 footprints corresponding to a bipedal, plantigrade dinosaur, walking by supporting the entire sole of the foot and not just the toes like most dinosaurs. There are even 138 footprints of ornithopods. Although the crown jewel is the enormous footsteps of one of the largest iguanodonts in La Rioja, only the height of the dinosaur's leg was 5.5 meters, according to the research conducted. The discovery of dinosaur footprints has transformed the economy of Enciso, becoming a fundamental economic engine for the village. Although in the past its history was closely linked to a prosperous textile industry during the 17th and 18th centuries, the disappearance of this activity left a gap in the local economy. However, Enciso's paleontological potential has emerged as an invaluable resource. Lacking significant livestock or agricultural impetus, dinosaur footprints have become the main tourist attraction in the region. This discovery has revitalized the local economy, attracting a constant flow of visitors and placing Enciso on the map as a prominent paleontological enclave at the national level. Tourism related to paleontological discoveries has generated new business opportunities, from the opening of souvenir shops and restaurants to the development of guided tourist activities. Consequently, Enciso has experienced an economic renaissance, driven by fascination with the prehistoric past and the paleontological wealth lying beneath its feet. To bid farewell to this journey through Enciso, we want to thank you for joining us on this adventure. We hope you have enjoyed discovering the dinosaur footprints that have left an indelible mark on this beautiful town in La Rioja. I am you, and I thank you for your time. Until next time.